Are you tired of constant joint pain from rheumatoid arthritis? Wondering if methotrexate is right for you or if it's time to switch to something stronger? Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Thamber, physician here at Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine, expert in rheumatology and regenerative medicine. Today, we're diving into methotrexate, the first line treatment for rheumatoid arthritis. I'll explain why it's recommended, how it works, the dosage, side effects, and who it's best for, and when it's time to consider switching to a biologic medication. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune condition that primarily affects the joints, causing pain, swelling, and stiffness. In RA, the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues, specifically the lining of the joints, leading to inflammation and joint damage over time. This immune response can also affect other organs, such as the heart, lungs, and eyes. Being an autoimmune condition means that the body's defense system, which normally fights infections, turns against its own cells, leading to persistent inflammation and damage. Early diagnosis and treatment are essential to prevent long-term joint destruction and disability. Methotrexate is typically the go-to first-line medication for rheumatoid arthritis because of how well it controls inflammation. It works by reducing the immune system's overactivity, which is the root cause of RA. This medication is trusted by doctors worldwide because it is effective, affordable, and has a long history of success. Methotrexate has been used to treat rheumatoid arthritis since the 1980s. Originally developed as a chemotherapy drug in the 1940s, its effectiveness in controlling RA was discovered later. Key studies in the early 1980s demonstrated methotrexate's ability to reduce joint inflammation and slow disease progression, making it the key treatment for first-line RA treatment ever since then. Its long history of use and well-established safety profile have made it the first-line therapy for many patients with rheumatoid arthritis. As an aside, early in my medical career, after completing my fellowship training, I was at the American College of Rheumatology annual meeting. The cornerstone article in the use of methotrexate for RA was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 1985. Dr. Michael Weinblatt was the lead author of that paper. My father, who's also a rheumatologist, pointed out Dr. Michael Weinblatt to me during that meeting. And he commented that that man helped to change the field of rheumatology in large part because now we had a treatment that could actually modify the long-term course of RA. Methotrexate is classified as a DMARD, or disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug. This is crucial in rheumatoid arthritis treatment because unlike simple pain relievers or anti-inflammatory drugs, DMARDs like methotrexate actually slow down the progression of the disease. Instead of having a condition that inexorably progresses with time, now we had a treatment that would flatten out the disease progression. And unlike steroids, it could do so without as many side effects. Methotrexate helps to prevent joint damage, maintain joint function, and improve long-term outcomes by targeting the underlying immune dysfunction that drives RA. Its role as a disease-modifying treatment has made it a cornerstone in RA treatment, often used early and aggressively to protect patients from irreversible joint damage. When it comes to dosing, most patients start with a low dose, usually 7.5 to 10 milligrams taken one time per week. And this can be adjusted based on how well you respond. Methotrexate comes in two different forms, oral tablets or injections. Oral tablets are typically what I would utilize first line. Injections can be used and are sometimes useful because they help to reduce GI side effects and help better with absorption. It's important to know that methotrexate is not an instant fix. It can take six to eight weeks to notice improvement with full effects taking up to three to six months. So patience is key here while your body adjusts. After using the starting dose for six to eight weeks, you should follow up with your rheumatologist. If your condition is still active and you still have active disease, your methotrexate will be progressively increased to better control inflammation. If required, the methotrexate dose will be escalated up to 20 milligrams per week. On occasion, you can get up to 30 milligrams per week as well. Like all medications, methotrexate has potential side effects. The most common ones include nausea, fatigue, and mild hair thinning. It can also affect your liver and immune system, so regular blood work is essential to monitor your liver function tests and blood cell counts, typically every three months. 
I also recommend using folic acid supplements to reduce the side effects like mouth sores, nausea, and hair loss. And I recommend using methotrexate just one time per week to help reduce the chance of side effects as well. Methotrexate is not suitable for everyone. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid it as it can harm the baby. People with severe liver or kidney disease may also need to look at other options. Your doctor will screen you to make sure it's the right fit. If methotrexate is not enough or if side effects become too difficult to manage, it may be time to move on to a biologic medication. Biologic medications target specific parts of the immune system and can be life-changing for many people with RA. We usually consider switching if you are not seeing adequate improvement with methotrexate after three to six months. Even if you start a biologic medication, frequently methotrexate will be continued since the combined effects of the two treatments tend to be more effective than using a biologic medication alone. Treatment decisions are always a partnership between you and your doctor. Whether you start methotrexate or stay on methotrexate or move on to a biologic treatment, the goal is to control the inflammation, keep you active, comfortable, and living your best life. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have questions or need further support, visit us at chicagoarthritis.com or call our office at any time. Until we connect again, stay well, live well, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.